Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to divide these numbers. Now, let's go and take a look at these numbers here real quick. So what type of number uh, is the numerator? So of course we could see it is the value uh, 11, but this is a what? Well, we could say that is a real number, but what type of number do we have going on in uh, the denominator? So we have negative two minus three i. So hopefully you see that that is in fact a complex number. Now, uh, let's just talk a little bit about number systems before we kind of uh, move on to how to do this problem. So hopefully you understand that the real number system is a subset of the complex number system. So of course we study the real number systems in elementary school, uh, middle school, and then in high school, as you kind of progress into like say algebra one, algebra two, you start dealing with the complex number system. So uh, that's what we got going on here. We need to understand how to deal with complex numbers. So if you can divide this or simplify this expression, go to put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna fully explain this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now uh, one other thing here, uh, for those of you that are taking courses, let's say like Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, you very well uh, likely have a sophisticated graphing calculator, something like a TI-84, things like that. And you should get familiar with how to um, use these graphing calculators. That's really important. And I say that because you could actually simplify this. You should be able to actually simplify this in your calculator, but I don't want you to use your calculator other than the one between your ears. So let's go to take a look at the answer right now. We have 11 over negative two minus three I. What is the answer to this problem? Well, here it is right here. We have negative 22 plus three I over 13. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. If that is in fact the case, let's give you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you definitely know a thing or two about uh, complex numbers. Now, again, um, for those of you that are in these courses or at this level of mathematics, so let's just kind of start with like algebra one. Uh, or your first year kind of uh, uh, algebra course, whatever that might be called in your school, um, algebra one, you kind of get introduced to um, the concepts of imaginary numbers, which of course are a, um, a part of a complex number. But as you progress into courses like algebra two, college algebra, or intermediate algebra, it's basically your second year algebra course, you really need to start uh, learning about complex number operations. And certainly if you're in pre-calculus, you really, really need to know this stuff as uh, uh, the more advanced math you uh, take, uh, you're going to be dealing quite frequently with complex numbers. So uh, this is definitely not like a little side um, skill that you need to kind of know, like, hey, I don't need to know this. This is hugely important. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look exactly what's going on with this problem. All right, so the first thing we need to understand that right here, we have a complex number in the denominator. So we cannot leave this uh, expression, uh, this fraction, the way it is. This is very much like this problem. Let's say I had one over the square root of three. You can't have an irrational number in the denominator in mathematics. Okay, so you're trying to divide by something that is non-terminating and non-repeating. So uh, if you have any questions about like uh, how to deal with square roots in the denominator, you wanna uh, look up uh, some of my videos on YouTube or maybe go to like my Algebra 1 uh, course on rationalizing the denominator. In other words, we can't have this like this, okay? And of course, hopefully you understand this, but how do we deal with this, okay? Well, to kind of rewrite this fraction, one over the square root of three, we would simply multiply the denominator and numerator by the square root of three and clean this up. Of course, we would end up with the square root of three. Square root of three times the square root of three is a square root of nine, which of course is three. So basically we're gonna write one over the square root of three as a square root of three over three. 
And now we do not have an irrational number, a square root in the denominator. Okay, so this is not like an optional thing in mathematics or algebra. You need to do this. So effectively, this is kind of the equivalent type of scenario when we're dealing with complex numbers because we're dealing with this little i right there. So a complex number is always in the form of a plus b i. So this is a form of a complex number where the a part is the real number part and the bi part is the imaginary part. And i is equal to the square root of negative one. Okay, so down here, we have a square root situation. So we're gonna have to resolve this. And really this is the whole kind of, a, uh, you know, uh, main idea of this video. Okay, so uh, now that you kind of see what's going on, how do we resolve this? Well, we're going to have to multiply uh, the denominator and numerator by something called the conjugate, okay? And hopefully you're familiar with that. This is, uh, again, stuff that you should have seen already in like Algebra 1. All right, so you can kind of see I've already done the work here. It's going to take a look at what the conjugate is. So here is our problem. We have 11 over negative uh, 2 minus 3i. The conjugate is basically the same uh, uh, binomial here, right? We have two things, or complex number negative 2 minus 3i. So whatever the sign is, this is minus. All we're going to do is put the opposite sign. If this was plus, we would put minus. This is minus. We're going to put plus. So negative 2 plus 3i is the conjugate. So what we're going to do, okay, is uh, multiply both the denominator and numerator by the conjugate. Now, we're not breaking anything because if you kind of take, uh, you know, stand back for a second, let's just look at this right here, okay? You're, you have negative 2 plus 3i divided by negative 2 plus 3i. Anything divided by itself is just 1. So we're not, you know, changing the problem. We're just using this little kind of trick to get rid of um, uh, that any i's or square roots in the denominator. So at this point, basically we have one big multiplication problem. So we're going to have to multiply 11 times negative 2 plus 3i, and then we're going to have to multiply these two binomials uh, right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the easy stuff first. Let's handle this part of the problem. So 11 times negative 2 plus 3i, we'll just go ahead and use the distributive property. So 11 times negative 2 plus 3i, just simply distribute that 11. So 11 times negative 2 is negative 22, and then 11 times 3i gives us 33i. Okay, so that is our numerator, okay? And we'll come back uh, to this here in a second, but we basically uh, kind of uh, polished up that numerator, and this is it, okay? But now we're going to have to do some uh, work here on the denominator, right? So this is going to require a little bit more work, but let's go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so now um, here we have negative, uh, negative 2 minus 3i times negative 2 plus 3i. So what is this situation? Well, this is no more than like in, let's say, a basic algebra problem. Let's say a 2x plus 1 times x minus 5, right? So this is a binomial times a binomial. So how can we multiply these two right here? Well, you would just use the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. But when you're um, dealing with the conjugate, you could also uh, see that we are dealing with the pattern a minus b times a plus b. So to find the product, and this is a, uh, the pattern here, if you notice, it's the same pattern. We could just um, use the difference of two squares, square negative two, and square three i to kind of simplify this. Now, a lot of you um, use this uh, kind of procedure, this technique, you know, in your classes, that's probably what your teacher is showing you. But I'm going to go ahead and just use the FOIL technique. Um, again, if you want to see more of this, I would definitely uh, suggest checking out like my Algebra 2 course, or maybe for those of you that are in pre-calculus, I teach this uh, more than thoroughly. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the FOIL method. That's again, that's first, outer, inner, last, basic algebra stuff. So let's go ahead and do this right now. All right, so we're going to find the product here. So we're going to do the first. So that's going to be negative 2 times negative 2. This is our first. Okay, then our outer is going to be negative 2 times 3i first. Outer, our inner, is negative, um, 
negative 3i times negative 2, that's our inner. And then our last is negative 3i times uh, positive 3i, that is our last. So let's go ahead and just uh, do this one by one. So what's the first? Well, this is going to be negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. All right, so what's the outer? That's going to be negative 2 times 3i, that's negative 6. What's our inner? That's going to be minus 3i times a negative 2, so that's going to be a positive 6i. And then our last is going to be a negative 3i times a positive 3i, so that's going to be a negative 9i squared. Okay, so now let's go ahead and continue to clean this up right here. And uh, let's go down here. So we can first uh, see we have 4, negative 6i plus 6i. So these are going to cross cancel. We can get rid of those right there. So we're left with 4 minus 9i squared. All right, so let's go ahead and take this a step further. Again, we have to get rid of all the i's and i squared. So what is i? Okay, this is the definition of an imaginary number. So i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Now, if I square i, okay, both sides, i squared is going to be what? Well, i squared will be equal to negative 1, right? So these are things that you definitely need to know when you're dealing with complex numbers. So i squared is equal to negative 1. So I can replace this i squared with a negative 1. So that's what I'm doing right here. So now we have 4 minus 9 times a negative 1. So negative 9 times negative 1 is... Uh, positive 9. So now we have 4 plus positive 9 is 13. Okay, so this is our denominator. So let's go ahead and put this all together. So recall, when we multiply the numerator, 11 times this negative 2 plus 3i, we ended up with this right here. And then when we did all this work right here, we got a 13. And this is our final answer. Okay, so in terms of difficulty, I would say this is a, a pretty average problem when you're dealing with complex numbers. It's certainly much more challenging problems. But um, if you need help with complex numbers, you know, this level of mathematics, I would definitely suggest you check out like my Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus course. Okay, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel as well. But if this particular video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.